The whole world is being revolutionized by AI. But do you know the limitations of AI? Well, I'm here to tell you that AI won't survive without life science research. How does it sound? Sounds funny and exciting, right? Well, I'm here to tell you something really interesting. But hold on for a minute. Let's talk about AI first. I read a news where uh, the CEO of OpenAI, who is uh, Sam Altman, he says that he wants $6 trillion to have data farms, data centers, which will have, you know, billions of uh, chipsets to power his chat GPT because the chat GPT is hungry for more and more energy, more and more processing power, but he's not able to keep up. In fact, OpenAI has gone and complained to Microsoft that your data centers are not able to support us anymore because the demand is so huge. In just half an hour, they uh, gathered 1 million users when the uh, Ghibli style images went trending on internet, right? So you remember that? Well, today as I'm in, sitting in front of you, AI is truly shaping up every other business in the world. But what if I say that AI is getting limited by the Moore's law? AI is getting limited because the chipsets are costly to make and it's very difficult. It's energy hungry. It's very difficult to uh, generate at scale. And that brings us to bio. How can biosciences, life sciences and biotech research help AI? Well, Recently, a uh, very interesting news has been posted on Biotechnica and I'm going to tell you a few lines from there and it is all about Organoid Intelligence. I'll try to put the link in the description as well. So Organoid Intelligence is something wherein we are taking clusters of human brain cells and we are growing it in a petri dish. So actually these are stem cells called Organoid Intelligence. Okay, And these stem cells can perform tasks commonly handled by computers. Now the brain organoids are simplified miniature models of human, human brain and as you know human brain is self-sufficient it doesn't require external energy it is energy efficient it is self-sustaining all it requires is the nutrition timely and these organoid uh, cells don't have the ability to think or feel so it is not like a human but they can learn they can process information and then they can respond to the surroundings. Now, using these lab-grown neural cells, scientists can create organoids that mimic the basic nature of human brain. And that is um, processing information, responding to surroundings, learning, processing any kind of stimuli. And by connecting them to a computer via special electrodes, researchers can teach these mini brains with how to interact with the digital systems. Now imagine in the future you don't need a NVIDIA chipset but you need stem cell grown organoid intelligence. Now why you should pay attention to this story is because as AI is growing across the world the demand for AI chipsets is growing but they cannot keep up because the more advanced AI comes, the more energy hungry it will be. And that is where human brain cells comes into picture. Now, you may wonder that this innovation, how it is important or related to your daily life? Well, let me explain this. The reason is simple. This tiny organoid is challenging our very understanding of computing. We all know that despite their power, traditional computers have their limitations. They are binary in nature, their architecture, their energy consumptions are having limits. While human brain is remarkably efficient, just 20 watts, just like a watt, 20 watts bulb, they can outperform the supercomputers in pattern recognition, learning, creativity, any kind of stimuli and respond faster. And that is why organoid intelligence is something which is, which is very interesting. And if in case you are interested, you can always learn AI, ML in drug discovery and biology and organoid intelligence at Biotechnica because we are starting a fresh batch from 31st of July. And in this batch, we are also going to incorporate this organoid intelligence as well, as well as all other aspects of uh, drug discovery in biology and AI. You will learn how you can use AI in drug discovery, how you can uh, use organoid intelligence in AI and multiple other things. Now, coming back to the video, if organoid intelligence comes into picture, you will see NVIDIA-like companies in biotech. And you have to prepare for that future, my dear friend, where the brain cells, the stem cells, which are 
transformed into brain cells will actually empower the whole world's AI. These mini brains are the future. But to learn all of this, you have to be AI ready. And that is why Biotechnica exists. And now coming back, if we use organized um, AI, it will be more energy efficient, it will be more scalable. And these neurons can communicate faster through billions of dynamic connections, which is also called a synapses. And these changes will strengthen the experience of the end user. And this process is actually known as neuroplasticity. I'm sure you have heard of this. So if you have interest in neurobiology, we have certification courses for that. And Organide also we have courses for that. So certification courses on Organide intelligence is also there. You can always go in there. But the most important thing we all should remember is the moment we are using brain cells, there is ethical tightrope. So basically, can they deliver the same experience will always be a question. But what if those brain cells have awareness? What if they become singular with the computer? So there is going to be a lot of ethical concerns. That is where ethics in biology is also going to be a very strong subject in the future. So, you know, this news opens up, I think, four to five different fields for you. One is, of course, AI in drug discovery in biology. The second is organized intelligence. The third is stem cells. The fourth is ethics in biology and AI era. Now, these are the four to five things. And of course, uh, quantum biology is also coming. As you know, it quantum computing is coming. Just today, we saw the news that Microsoft is now investing in Sweden in developing a data center, which is on quantum computing. And then they're going to accelerate the research of quantum biology. And that is why we also have a workshop coming up in the first week, week of August for quantum biology you can check out Biotechnica for those, those announcements also. Now here is something you all should not forget. The future is for those who can dream, who can take action on those dreams and persist on those dreams. You know, if you work hard, persist and believe in yourself and your idea, success is bound to come to you. But if you start self-doubting, if you start doubting the field, you start doubting the people around, then you cannot succeed. Success belongs to those who are action takers. So go take, take action. Go enroll into Biotechnica's AI in Drug Discovery course and internship. And I'll be right there to help you, support you, guide you and make sure that you get placed in an AI-based company in biology and excel in your career. All the best.